Alright, everybody. Welcome to G Game Nights Presents Wild Space. Uh, I'm going to be the game master tonight. My name is Ryan, and here we are. We have these lovely players with us tonight. Uh, we're really, really happy that you're here to uh, just kind of enjoy the, the this journey with us, we're, and which is rapidly approaching an end. Um, real quickly, before we get into that, I'm going to go over a couple of announcements. Uh, the first is, is the next game that we'll be having on this channel is tomorrow, Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. It is our uh, Cypher game Neon Souls, uh, continuation of our cyberpunk sci-fi uh, series, which is uh, oh, so much fun. Um, uh, but we also have so many, so many other games on this channel. Uh, like tonight's uh, game will be uh, D&D 5e, but we have so many other uh, systems going on in this channel. Uh, dare I say, most, like, I think this is the only, is this the only 5e game left? <laughs> yes, Okay, is. this is the last 5e game. And also, I, I, was, I was checking this, this game has been going since 2017, or, or like 2017. Uh, like around November, I think we started. So uh, almost a four year game uh, and it is uh, wrapping up. And I think pr pretty much feels good that we're all kind of moving, moving on from 5e for a little bit, I guess. <laughs> um, but uh, let's see, uh, we've got all sorts of other games. You can either f follow us here on Twitch or if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please follow us there. Uh, or subscribe, I believe it's called over there. Um, and uh, definitely follow our Twitter. We've got all the socials, got uh, Discord as well, um, and where we uh, talk about all sorts of things. Uh, these games and uh, the ones of the video variety are all kind of sorts of things over there. Um, but I think uh, rather than me continuing to talk about our different socials, I think we'll, I'm just going to kick it over to the players to uh, let us know what other things we got going on? What what What's going on in your gaming world that uh, these fine listeners should hear about? I have a potential finale this uh, this Saturday. Uh, Saturday night's Apocalypse, or uh, Star Power, um, will uh, probably be wrapping up our season one this week. Uh, so definitely come hang out with us for that. We're playing Overarms. Which is a uh, uh, fun JoJo's Bizarre Adventure inspired game, um, and so join us for that at uh, at seven o'clock. Awesome, awesome, awesome! Uh, anyone else Any, on this channel or others? Yeah, um, you've got finales coming up. I we have a session zero coming up for something else um, on Sunday uh, at three o'clock this week. Um, because of a slight schedule change at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we're having our session zero for Vason. Um, we have a new mini-series that I am running since we just had our season finale of Slaying 101. Um, it's called Thursday's Children, and uh, it's going to be awesome, uh, mythical 19th century Nordic monster hunting. It's going to be cool. So we're going to build characters and stuff, so come hang out with us then. I'm awesome. excited. One, one game ends, another begins. Circle of Life. We love to see it. Uh, let's see. Anyone else have anything they'd like to talk about? Oh, we're smack in the middle of the Tuesday games. I don't know if they have seasons, but they're lots of fun. Uh, this week we had the Burbs, where last last time LB's character got yeeted into space by a nail through the palm. This time she got arrested for the murder of the woman that my character slept with. So there's a uh, there's a lot going on in that game. Indeed. So for all of the saucy details, be sure to uh, follow on our uh, Tabletop Tuesdays. Um, also at 8 p.m. Eastern, I believe. Or yeah, Tuesdays at seven Eastern. It's seven like Eastern Tuesdays. Earlier. Okay, rock and roll. Um, let's see. Well, Morgan, what about you? Are you do you have nothing going on? <laughs> Just living my life and having a good time. <laughs> well, Morgan is living her life and having a good time, and we're very, very, very proud of her. So, um, let's see. Uh, I guess that can bring us to our game, where uh, last session, where we left off, uh, the crew, after having um, 
solved the issue of uh, uh, just ba bad turtle turtle liches. Uh, they have uh, found themselves into a scrap with um, a uh, kind of a unqualified void dragon <laughs> who is uh, just real upset and trying to um, get back uh, at them for all the stuff they've done in the past. There's a there's a really deep story there, I'm sure. Uh, we'll see if it gets revealed <laughs> this time on Wild Space. Uh, so, uh, without further ado, we shall get back into it. I believe what happened last uh, was uh, uh, kind of this mix of dark and light uh, healing magics emanated from Rachel that uh, swept over the party, uh, restoring uh, their wounds uh, as the massive Chrome Ned is uh, leaping at the, the spoy dragon, trying to do uh, some dirty business. And the dragon responds. Uh, is it? Uh, you, you suck. You suck so bad. Get out of my lobby. Um, and he is uh, going to uh, attempt to recharge. Um, we'll see. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so I need, uh, ooh, let's see. Do I want to hit? Vincent or Gwen? I can't get both of you in this cone. So I have to make a choice. Um, I will say Vincent's invisible. Oh, okay. Well, that makes it easy. All right. Oh, yeah, I forgot. But also, <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if he has true sight. Uh, he, no, he has blind sight, which isn't quite the same thing, but mm -hmm. maybe it actually, hmm. What does that mean? What is, I know what true sight is off the top of my head, but I, now I, I don't know the difference between that and blind sight. Uh, it doesn't matter. He's not going to go for you anyway. Uh, if someone wants to look that up just for um, nerd lulls, we can do that. But I'm going to uh, go ahead and ask that. Uh, uh, Sorry, Gwen. Yeah, Gwen. Uh, I'd rather Ned, hit and, me. Gwen, Ned, and Champion, uh, roll me a uh, dexterity saving throws. Okay. Uh, Dex saves, okay. 24. That's meets. I'm gonna use one of my indomitables to reroll that because that was <laughs> a two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna roll a different die now. All right, come on. That's much better. Okay, uh, 20 total. Uh, I'm afraid that is shy of what Dang you it. need. I'm ah. assuming Ned auto fails. I don't think he has enough decks to ever succeed on that. Oh, no, be. he definitely does not. Yeah, um, okay. So, uh, like I said, I ask, I'll continue to run Chrome Ned unless somebody else wanted to run him. Go for it. If I bent luck, I would have to roll a four on the D4 to get that to, to make the yeah. camp can succeed. I also don't remember if I spent my reaction last time already. Uh, I, I, we'll just say that those are cleared out because I don't know. Yeah. Um, um, go, go for it. it so. I'll, give you, I'll give you the chance. Okay, wait, so you might be giving me a buff to my roll? Yes, but okay. it'll only succeed if I max out the D4, it sounds ah, like. Okay, good luck! <laughs> That's a four! Hey! <laughs> okay. All right, so excellent. I do save. Yes? So, yep, okay. that's perfect. So, um, Gwen and uh, Champion, you will only take half damage. Okay. Um, oh, I, I I just forgot this thing with Ned. Like, it, this just, like, ends up being a wash because it's half fire, half radiant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. Uh, so, but uh, you take uh, half of... So you take... You take uh, this is half. 21 uh, fire damage, and you take... Uh, 30 radiant damage. Ooh, okay. So I think Ned maybe just loses 9 or 10 HP or something like that. 
Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, sliver. And then that's uh, what he's going to do. And then the grid walkers bring out their blaster rifles and they're going to attack. Um, two of them are going to try to attack champion from the back with zip zips. Um, oh, I, I didn't ruin my thing over. I didn't realize there's two dudes right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. All right. It's fine. Uh, they, they, they miss most of their shots. They stormtrooper it up pretty hard, except one ah, person. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> crits um oh, well <laughs> you're gonna hit make a count i guess <laughs> yeah uh they're gonna that one oh and they rolled well on that so um it's gonna be uh that's, what let me do that math again that's not right is it yeah okay yeah that's 30 points of damage oh dang yeah you got a nine and nine a six and a six Took me a second to figure that out. I was like, who? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, ouchie. Uh, and they're just kind of swarming behind you on their jetpacks. Uh, these three, uh, these two are going to peel off and try to um, pick at Rosh. And this one is going to try to uh, pepper Gwyn. So uh, here's some attacks coming at Rosh. What's your AC again? It's, it's like uh, 23 or 4 or something. Ridiculous. 25. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, none of those hit. Um, and then for Gwyn, uh, what's your AC? Twenty-one. Yeah. No. Yeah. There. So I mean, there's eighteens and twenty-threes and fourteens uh, and fifteens going out. That the twenty-three uh, was not at you, Gwyn. Um, uh, but it's uh, they're not doing terrible. But yeah, that's that's level seventeen, baby. <laughs> Uh, so they they do nothing, um, and that's going to be their turn, bringing it to the Arcturus crew. What do you do? Uh, well, I am going to cast haste. You would. <laughs> so Champ just starts to like vibrate real fast. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Let's cast that on myself so I have to concentrate. Uh, that's for a minute. Okay. Which doubles my speed, and I get a plus two to my AC and advantage on deck saves, which could be helpful because we keep getting those. And let's me attack. An extra one. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna get in this an one extra two, yeah. An extra Ooh. one. So I'll only be able to attack once this turn because I had to use my regular action. Too. Okay. But you also have a... Oh, is this... Then this is your bonus? Yes, this is the, okay, right the on. one that got I it, get for it, casting it. it. Yeah. Cool. So that is... What is the plus with this new sword that I have again? Oh, it's like the same. Uh, That is a 26 to hit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, and that does... Okay. 20 radiant damage. <laughs> this one had exactly 20 hit points. Ah, yes. Nice. Champ just like speeds over there, stabs him. And you got double fortunate because the one to the other side had a little bit more. Ah, there you go. <laughs> um, excellent. So, uh, yeah, you. Uh, what? Which sword did you use for this one? Just uh, your, I uh, used the saber? new sword that I new got sword. the answerer. Okay. So, but it also is kind of like a laser sword, but slightly different. Cool. Oh, uh, we forgot. Oh, uh, yeah, that you're the uh, you're forearming it up, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, we'll yeah, just like zoop, 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 like and just into uh, neat cutlets, just whoo, floating off in the space. The, the wounds instantly cauterized and deep freezed, <laughs> deep fro, deep frozed. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so that's going to be a champion bringing us to who's next? Uh, I'll go because I had something. Uh, Rush is going to kind of move around the side of the dragon to try to get Gwen within the uh, Twilight Sanctuary. Um, awesome. 30 foot radius. So I was imagining like boop, like brow right there. Yep. Oh, perfect. I don't want to be in that guy's grill. Uh, okay. And uh, so she can gain some temporary hit points at the end of her turn. 
and is going to cast on these two fellas that uh, that shot at them an eighth level moonbeam. I love it. Uh, it's a t- it's like a it's a five foot radius, so ten feet across. Can I get both of them? Uh, yes. Uh, and I'm going to say because there is a moon nearby <laughs> that uh, I think you just kind of line them up with the the moon behind them, like where they're like silhouetted behind you, and you just kind of call forth on this, uh, you know, uh, light, uh, this, this power of light and illumination from Helotos and eternity and everything. Yes, you get them both. Cool. Uh, that's a con save for both of them. I right, well, let me check All if right. whatever it appears. Uh, when a creature enters the spells area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there. Okay. So yeah, uh, they both will fail. Ten and a fifteen. Uh, Thirty-seven points of radiant damage. <laughs> uh, they are very crispy. Um. Uh, and we'll bonus action just uh, use the send the flying spear uh, straight at one of them. Nice. Uh, which is a t- why is that an advantage? Uh, it's a twenty-one. Twenty-one hits uh, for nineteen radiant damage. Nineteen. Uh, yeah. Uh, absolutely skewered. Uh, Let's see. I kind of... All right. Uh, roll me... What, what is your damage die? 2d6. Roll me two more d6. Uh, I want to see... Um, four. Four. Okay. Uh, that's close enough. Uh, so there's <laughs> one HP different, but it's enough to, to uh, shush kebab them both with the spear, just kind of connecting, and they uh, just click together, like both uh, sizzling uh, soundlessly in, the, in space. Uh, they uh, are, yeah, <laughs> good job. The spear just whizzes through them and back through the yeah. air next to Rush. Yeah, it's very uh, kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy almost. Yeah, that's what, it's what like I was just thinking. Like, and then um, does it just kind of hover behind you like a pet? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, perfect. So uh, awesome. So that is uh, Rosh's turn. Um, we've got Vincent, Gwen, and Ned. Do you want to go ahead and do Ned, Val? Oh, yeah. Ned's just going to keep punching. Uh, or slashing this blade. Uh, it's a 22 against the dragon and a 28 um, against the dragon. Meets and exceeds. All right. It's a total of 51 points of slashing damage. Oh my God, you bottle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that is probably just gleefully uh, slashing. <laughs> This track is in pieces. <laughs> That's not fair. You're using an aimbot. Um, <laughs> so, excellent. It's that that hurt real bad. That was a lot of <laughs> damage. Um, I'm just gonna hit the try to hit the dragon twice. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. The first one's a 25. Yes. The second one's a 29. Both exceed. <laughs> do... Just let me do the damage. No, I'm gonna have to do that. Okay. Well, well that is 46 damage. <laughs> Total. Okay. That's for both. Ow. Ow. Uh, I think that was uh, between the two of you. I think that was like 20% of its health. <laughs> like so much lim- more than that, maybe. Yeesh. Ouch. Uh, it's uh, it, it 
as you're like kind of carving through it, there's this like this uh, almost uh, suction of vacuum as almost like trying to pull, like pull you in as you cut through it, but you know, like you can kick off of its body and like like launch yourself back into space. Uh, maybe like grabbing onto an errant asteroid that's like passing by and just kind of grab it on an arm like a I don't know like Legolas and then you know, just like just kind of flip up onto it like riding past it to get on to a different vantage point. Uh, that brings us to uh, Vincent. Uh, I'm gonna have you surge before you do anything. Yep. One D one hundreds. Okay, let's see. We got an eighty three. If y'all you rolled a hundred again, I would <laughs> cry. <laughs> uh, so each creature within thirty feet of you takes one D ten necrotic damage, and I regain HP equal to the sum of the damage. Okay. Or you cast dispel magic as a fifth level spell on yourself and all creatures within ten feet of you. Which I don't think that would I don't know what that would do against my cloak of invisibility um does anyone know off the top of their head how dispel magic works on items um I'll look I'll look it, it up automatically works <laughs> and then I, it kills I, I, the thing holding it I, <laughs> I'll say that like uh you all can easily take a 10 necrotic damage and like no one will really care yeah um I mean, i'm already at max hp but it'll and, do <laughs> and i don't believe their dragon has any magical effects on them at the yeah. moment so it doesn't really help there either i think um, it would only hurt you yeah so well at least it'll be 1d10 necrotic on him three points ow it's dead. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no teammates. Yeah. All right, so everyone take three damage, I guess. Probably not champ. She's probably far enough away. Oh, uh, champ, not champ. Yeah, and not. Uh, what's the range? I'm sorry. Was it thirty? Uh, thirty feet. Yeah. Oh, I don't even think Gwen is in this. Actually, it's just you, Ned, and the dragon. Okay. It, it's oh, a Gwen, big don't dragon. Don't forget to take your temp HP. Sorry, I forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. How many is it? Uh, it is. 23. Okay. All right. So um, we're going to roll for another uh, as, as the dragon prepares to respond. Uh, there is a single uh, single living grid walker. <laughs> oh, hold on. I still need to take my actual turn, don't I? Oh, my goodness. I forgot. I for some reason that seemed, seemed turn like, buddy. Yeah. All right. So, if I zip over to this side, could I get both the dragon? I know the, this line isn't going to be too scale, but could I get the dragon and that guy in a sixty foot line? Oh, there's two of them. Uh, sixty foot. I. What? What is it? Uh, sunbeam. Yeah. I like as following the track with moonbeam. I think because we're in space, there's less atmospheric impedance. So yeah. Sure. Gets a little longer than 60 feet, for yeah. sure. Um, now, one question I do have at the end of the description says, for the duration, a mode of brilliant radiance shines in your hand. Bright light and 30 foot radius to my for an additional 30 feet. The light is sunlight. How does that mm -hmm. interact with me being <laughs> invisible? Uh, I'm going to say it's going to take a legendary action and hit you with a tail attack uh, for drawing attention for your, to yourself. But. Um, uh, but other than that, there's, it's not going to. It's it's going to temp only be temporary for this okay. thing. Well, I suppose it should make its con save first, because if it fails, it's going to be blind. Um, um, it has blind sight though, so it, I don't know true. if that will but, um, make a difference in this. Game. But it would matter for the grid walker though. Does, did they become blind? Uh, I mean, they have to fail the save. Okay. Which is all right. Oh, well, so I real. Yeah. They, Drag the dragon roll at twenty six. That um, succeeds. And Gridwalker fails with a fourteen, I'm sure. Okay, so Dragon will take half this damage in radiant. And Gridwalker will take full twenty-three and be blinded. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Until ouch. my next turn. Whoa. 
sunburn. All right. Uh, excellent. Uh, and I'm the. Did I roll the tail tank? Uh, does a 21 hit? Yeah, that hits. All right, you take 14 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Let me put your thing to front real quick. Um, cool. So. Guess I should roll a con save now, just to be safe. That <laughs> uh, should still be fine, because that's a 12 total with my plus 10 to con saves. Uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, uh, ouch. Um, what, what are you concentrating right now? I forgot. Sunbeam. It oh, is the sunbeam just stays so up. Each turn okay. I can do pew, 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 pew. Uh, okay. All right. So then I'll just say, like, every time you pew, it can take a reaction on you and hit you. But um, it right now it can't see you. Um, so uh, I did roll a recharge once again, um, which is pretty much the only... <laughs> It's my only hope here. Uh, it's going to uh, uh, zip over here with a teleport um, using. Uh, Vincent, how about you roll me a D100 if you, because uh, it, it kind of knows sort of where you were. It's going to try to catch you in this, uh, but I'm going to, but there's, I'm going to give it a, a chance to miss. So if yeah. you roll less than a, um, 55, 60, no, I'm gonna say 60. Roll, roll less than 60, you fail. So roll 60, you're up. That's a 28. Okay, all right, so this will uh, catch you. Um, you can still make your deck save, potentially, though. So uh, deck saves for anyone but champ, everyone but champ. Ned's an auto fail, but also, again, it doesn't matter. Basically, it doesn't matter. Um, gonna... Seven. Go ahead and give myself a Tides of Chaos advantage. Okay. 34. Um, okay, 34. <laughs> it took a long time for that to okay, sink so into my brain. <laughs> what the, uh, yeah. That's yeah. 18, I'm trying to remember. Is the DC 24? Do I have any chance if I bend luck? DC's 24, yeah. So I can't make it with a... Uh, so yeah, I fail. So, uh, Gwen, you uh, kind of quickly, uh, almost like uh, Dragon Ball Z when he's on that like little planet, you just like run to the other side of the <laughs> asteroid as you see this thing ex like swell up Whoop. and it blasts and explodes the asteroid from under your feet. But uh, you kind of like are kicking off the fragments of it and push yourself back to the ground to get your footing and uh, kind of reorient. Uh, you, yeah, you take some damage, but again, half. Uh, it's uh, the full bit is 45 fire, 44 radiant. Um, and uh, I'm sorry, who who were the what were the other rolls? Oh, oh gosh, I just saw rushes. So rush, bad, <laughs> bad. Um, and Ned takes basically no damage because um, it. The fire damage was ex more than the radiant, so he actually gains an HP. <laughs> okay, how much was the damage again? Uh, forty-five fire, forty-four radiant. So uh, if you're if you saved, it, it'd be twenty-three fire, twenty-two radiant. Okay, I'm resistant to both, so. Uh... So you can take that twenty-three, okay. twenty-two. Resistant to the radiant, so I have that. Yeah. Right. Um, and then these grid walkers, I think uh, these gonna try to stick together. This one's gonna fly over here. This one can't see anything. <laughs> and this is space. <laughs> There's a lot. To, it's a lot of. I mean, it can hear kind of. Well, no, it can't. <laughs> That's not how space works, famously. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I'm, they're, they're, I can't see them hitting um they actually roll pretty well but that's not gonna hit anyone um and then no, the one I that can see concentration yeah no, uh, it's the one that can see rolled so much worse than the one that can't <laughs> all right so these two are just kind of like uh firing um literally blindly in one case uh but just it's just like uh not hit and purchase or, or it's glancing off uh, you all like reinforced armor at this point 
Um, so it's your turn. Uh, question. So he, the dragon teleport or moved over there. Uh, I assume mm-hmm. not into the moonbeam that was still situated there. Uh, I think technically yes, because I did do that. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'll do con save, right? Yes. Uh, twenty five. Uh, so it succeeds. So I think it's half damage. Yeah. What kind of damage. damage is it? Radiant. Okay, it is not immune to that. Okay. Uh, level eight. That is 39 points of radiant damage. (laughs) Okay. All right. So what I expect to be the last round, uh, what do you all want to do? I would like to try and prismatic spray all the enemies that are left before anyone gets in the way of that cone. I will say, um, I'm just going to say... Uh, the, the like with the hit point values are what uh, for across the board, it's just so you all have perfect information here. All right. Sure. We've got uh, the the blinded grid walker has twenty six HP. The one other one has thirty four, and the dragon has a hundred and ten. So you work out this math. If you can take them out in this whole round, like in one round. I there. I'll give you all a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am perfectly positioned to laser beam the last two grid walkers, so I can po- potentially take them out. Yeah, I mean we'll even see if prismatic spray does anything or if they all make their save somehow. But... Y'all try that, and I'll be on cleanup. Yeah, <laughs> I am peeved that I. <laughs> You know, started Sunbeam and then immediately lost it to that blast, but so zips over here, invisible. Uh, I don't think Vincent has a witty one liner for this, just lets forth with a spray of colors. So, for a second, I thought he said, a, uh, like a woody one liner. I was like, reach for the sky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. into it now. <laughs> yeah, so each target is going to need to make a deck save. DC save is 19. Alright. Well, there's Thanks. an 8 in here, so I'm going to get to reroll one of these. Um, Gridwalker's um, defo fail. Okay. And the dragon will choose to succeed. Okay, well, let's see. So, first Gridwalker is going to take 10d6 lightning damage. <laughs> Okay. That's so many. 36? Uh, <gasps> uh, yeah, dead. Um, okay, so the other one gets hit by the, uh, on a failed save, they're restrained. They'll make con saves at the end of each of its turns. Saves three times, it's good. Fails three times, it turns to stone and is permanently <laughs> petrified. Oh, that's one, okay. Uh, and then with the, I mean... I guess the dragon will succeed on these ones, but it did get hit by the one that lets me roll uh, twice more. Nice. Um, so it's gonna get hit by extra beams. Also three and six, so um, it's not gonna be subject to the petrification because it succeeded. Okay. Um, but it is gonna take half of 10d6 lightning. 42 that time. Shh. It's good. <laughs> All right, so that's 21 damage. Um, which, oh no, I did it wrong. What did I say? I said 110, I didn't subtract. Okay, so 110 minus 21. So we're at 89 HP for the dragon, 26 Um, for the petrified. (laughs) I'm gonna go ahead and empower the the lightning against the dragon, use some of my meta magic. Okay. So spend one sorcery point to reroll number of damage dice up to my charisma modifier. I will have to reuse, or I will have to use whatever is re-rolled. Um, but I'm seeing in that 42, there are two twos and two threes. So I'm gonna re-roll those. So 46, okay. so I guess, what's the best way to do this? Take away, so we had 42, taking away 10 two, points two, three, of damage. Three. Okay, so, so I'm gonna just, I'm adding 10 points of damage, yep, or 10 points roll. of health. 
Yep, and then it will lose whatever this second 46 is. Okay. 16. Good, good trade. Good trade. We're down to 83. Nice. And then, yeah, I think that's all Vincent has. Very cool. <laughs> all right. So there's four of you left. I'm going to go for the dragon. Go okay. Go Just going to go ahead and go. I'll zip over there. Uh, that is a... Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, my spell. Um, bonus action, cast Spirit Shroud. Ooh. Please go. That is, I can't count, a 30 and a 24 to hit. 30 and a 24 uh, exceeds and meets. Great. He's gonna get... Two of these, two of these, and two of these. Seven, eight, ten, seventeen. That's fifty. <laughs> okay. Ouch. Um, yeah, we are looking at a thirty-three hit point dragon. <gasps> You're gonna do it. That's what I got. Uh, yeah, describe it. describe what just happened with Spirit Shroud. I don't know what that looks like or is or. So what, how does Spirit Shroud? Uh, Gwen calls forth um these little uh they're the spirits of the dead um but they look like little like fire sprites that sort of circle mm -hmm. around her and they do extra damage. Awesome. Um, so they all sort of like swarm around the the phantom blade very cool mm, so good um all right so that there's uh we got three left uh do vincent and gwen stop close enough to get the temporary hit point refresh yeah sure, sure. oh yeah i gotta be right there next to you anyway all right uh that's 21 for each of you Nice. 21 temp HP? It's 17 plus a D6. Oh, uh, yeah, so it's, good. it's nasty. Now you know how Jazz felt. <laughs> 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 so good. Uh, Champ, did you already go? No. You do I your guess. thing. You got it. I'll be on cleanup. Okay. <laughs> Also, oh, this one is restrained, or the, the grid walker is restrained, and so will be um, easier to hit. You get advantage on attacks against it. Yeah, I'm about to obliterate that guy. Because <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to action surge, which lets me teleport nice. 30 feet closer. Okay. And nice. then use that extra from the action surge to dash so I can get up to him. All right. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. And then I'm going to use my action to attack. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, that's not very good for the first hit. That's only 15. Uh, that misses. But okay. do we have a are we out of reactions? Um, no, I've for got ben Luck? so I've got so many more attacks. I mean, I I think I, my reaction is cleared up. Because okay. I'm reading from Ryan's tone that even one will land the hit. <laughs> well, two, two would. Two would. They're, okay, so uh, AC 50, is 50. 17. Oh, okay. Also, you did roll that at advantage, right? I did not roll advantage. I forgot because he's restrained. <laughs> okay, well, then that definitely hits. <laughs> roll the okay. 19 the second time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. We uh, well, okay. Slice and dice. 11 radiant for the first one. All right. Uh, let's go for another attack. So I get 15 three of these. hit points left. Uh, 22. That hits. Just 13 that more. Has two hit points left. <laughs> okay, and even more than what I rolled before. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can't not finish it here. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's impossible. So, uh, yeah. Uh, do you want to describe this one? 
Uh, it's probably terrifying because Champ just like, like blinks and then is like there, and it's just a whirl of blades if, going. If this one could see, it would if be it could, scared yeah. by that sight. <laughs> That's true. I forgot you can't see either. <laughs> well, technically, the blind is shocked, but I think it's more fun if like uh, as it finally clears up, just boom, Champ is yeah. there. Yes, right there. It, it, it's space the helmet finally adjusts for the like the the high solarization and like the scoring and like <laughs> right as champ like bzz, 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 bzz. <laughs> yeah basically <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah another one bites the space dust um all right now we have rosh and chrome ned uh i think Chrome is averaging 40 plus <laughs> yeah. per turn. It only has 33 hit points left. So you can either just hand it to Ned now or just like take it for yourself. Take the glory for yourself and try to try to Rosh doesn't have anything that they can do to really do damage. <laughs> Isn't it at this in the moonbeam? Uh it it's only when it starts its turn or enters it for the first time, so I don't think it takes damage until the start of its next turn. I mean, so I, I could just, you could just, just like, wait. wait. <laughs> you could just like, wait, like, Ned just... It's, hold if up. Ned can't do the damage, then it's like, Ned, can you punch once, die. but not twice? <laughs> uh, actually, I'm gonna use, gonna use an action to do a heal on, uh, on Vincent. Just, okay. just in case. Okay. Uh, at level six. So that's 70 hit points to okay. Vincent. Awesome. Uh, and then uh, just steps to the side uh, for <laughs> something like... for Ned to come in uh, to finish the do his dark work. So I'm kind of imagining like uh, the vision, like kind of launches off the, the asteroid floor, kind of like like that 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 shot they always do with like Gundam Wing, where it just like boosh, launches off and like kind of corkscrewing around, like and then uh, with its uh, blade. <laughs> Attacks the dragon. I, I guess it. Can, Ned can miss. Ned AC's can high. Miss. It's twenty four. Yeah. So it's so high. Let's, let's see. Um, ooh, that's a sixteen. Uh oh. That's a thirty two. <laughs> <laughs> is, Moon, is Moonbeam gonna be the thing that? Okay. I think Moonbeam <laughs> might be the thing that kills. Ah, oh, that's funny. Uh, that's twenty slashing damage. Uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be Moonbeam. <laughs> it has thirteen HP. Well, okay. Rush actually still a bonus action, so could have used uh, the spear again. So let you me. Can, uh, you can do the spear. I'll I'll do that. It's a twenty-seven. That's only thirteen though. Or yeah, thirteen. That's ex exactly. That's how many it had. I just said. Oh, that's right. You just said thirteen. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I immediately forgot the number. Well, so, uh, yeah, I, I, like, uh, Ned blasts up and chops into it a couple of times so, it, like, uh, the, the blade doesn't find purchase in the first attack, but spins and finds an opening on the, uh, other flank of the dragon. And, Rosh, you take this opportunity in the destruction of the dragon as it's howling in pain. Um... Uh, yeah, what do, what do you do? You're using the spear, like yeah. Do you have to kind of go like in and out, kind of like threading it, like a like a needle or something? Or yeah, I think there's just like a couple of sweat, like it goes into like frenzy mode, just goes like like catching like the wings and the sides and mm -hmm. stuff before I finally like impaling straight through the chest uh, <laughs> of the dragon. <sighs> Excellent, and. There is a moment as all these like holes punctured into it when the dragon begins to uh, like uh, screech uh, that kind of uh, like uh, decompression that that you've been <laughs> you've experienced like when uh, when you've been in spaceships that have there's been some breach there's uh, it's almost like being pulled into it for a bit uh, as it, these points of light begin to crack all across its skin um it does do a thing when it dies that is called collapsing star oh. um so great. what is this something i could possibly counter spell no because it's not a spell yeah 
So, okay, wow, I, I didn't read the whole thing. Uh, when the Void Dragon is killed, it explodes in a swath of celestial destruction. Each creature and object within one mile of the dragon. Oh. Okay. One mile of the dragon. The there goes the ship. I mean, it's just be beat up, but that's fine. Uh, like, uh, it takes 10d10 bludgeoning, 10d10 cold, and 10d10 psychic. Holy crap. Reduced to half with the DC 21 saving throw. Oh, there's three different saving throws. Interesting. For the three different kinds of damage. Oh. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. So th this, Rip uh, <laughs> let's, let's just do them all individually. Cause otherwise I think this is going to get really um, confusing for me. Mm -hmm. So let's just start. Okay. So the first is the dexterity saving throw versus bludgeoning damage. I'm glad I you healed this. What the DC was. I said it was 21. It is 21. Okay, 21. I would need a crit I, to succeed. <laughs> I will I, I, I will give you perfect information on this. Wait, and also, what was I missed what kind of okay, save it so was. Okay, so it's a dex save. Dex, dex save. Okay. That's a three. Oh, no. Ugh. I got a plus five, but it's still only 11. How do I... <laughs> <laughs> the 13. 21. 21. Okay, so uh, it, Gwen, advantage. you succeed. Uh, everyone else takes 53 bludgeoning damage. <laughs> okay. Minus the temporary hit points. So I take yeah. 27. 30. Oh yeah, you're you're it's, it is half. That's right. Um, you're gonna take uh, uh 20 yeah seven. Okay. Minus your temp HP. Um, well, I hope these aren't okay. all dex saves. They are not. They do switch. Uh, the next one is uh, Constitution. This is versus the cold damage. This one. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one. Okay. Or no. Do you have a plus twelve and you still I have got a that plus number? Plus twelve and I still got a fourteen. Okay, I made that one. Okay. That's a nineteen. You said we need a twenty-one. You need a 21. I'll try and bend luck on this one. That's worth it, I think. I rolled a 20. That's only a one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I got like 24. Also, uh, Ned is taking this damage oh, as well. I forgot to roll for So Ned would have he can't. He can't see Dex. Um, um, is he resistant to... That's I guess question. this is uh, magical bludgeoning. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, all right, so uh, anyway, cold damage, 66 cold damage. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Even if I succeed the next one, I think I'm dead. Well, or, like, like or dead, dead or unconscious? No, 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 I, okay. I can't. <laughs> I won't be able to kill anybody. Uh, that's for sure, but okay. some bruises for sure. Okay. Um, okay, and the last one is Ooh. wisdom against the psychic. Okay, come yeah, on. Just, oh point. no, <laughs> I have more indomitable <laughs> left, luckily. Thank okay. you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 28, nice. Okay, all right, let's see what I get. <laughs> okay, I'm raising my indomitable. Okay, it's my last one of the day because I rolled a one. Okay, uh, it's gonna be 62 um, psychic wow. damage. Okay, so I'd still be, up, I'm still up if I make the save. <laughs> no, I'm out. All right. Is the invisibility nope. cloak still active? Nope. Is Vincent wow. just dead and invisible and y'all don't know? I mean, uh,. Is this also conscious. the one where if you fail all three saves, you're sent to another plane of existence? Wait. Wait, what? is that what happened at the end of Sarthia? <laughs> this is the one we I just Wait, remembered. This is what we had at the end of Sarthia. What? <laughs> Additionally, a creature that fails two or three, and that's everybody, <laughs> is... I can't do... Okay, well, this explains the time gap that's going to happen. <laughs> <gasps> because all of you... Including are Ned. sent all of you, including Ned, are sent to a random plane, <laughs> because no one failed or no one succeeded more than one, right? Nope. 
Uh-uh. This is all of you then. <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Killed already. She was like freaking bar. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna find a list of planes, I guess. Yeah. Where do we get sent to? This is fun. Well, now I know what the rest of the session's gonna be. <laughs> this is not. We this can fun. Alex, fast track it. this. Should I go uh, ahead and roll some death saves? Yeah. Sure. Let's do it. This will be fun. I can't true resurrection you if you die. <laughs> yeah. It it's might take a batch of two. That's a that's a fail. That's a thirteen. Success. Okay. That's a six. Does wild magic work on death saves? I don't have a tie to chaos right now. Cause I okay. used it earlier and you didn't surge to let me recharge it. Oh well I'll let well that could kill you with that. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hmm, what, I'll leave this up to you. If you want me to surge right now and you roll the dice with that, because maybe you could heal yourself. Yeah, I mean, well, or you could kill fun yourself. if I go out on a wild surge That's anyway. True. I agree. Um, a three and a 15, those are very low down. Three for the next okay. minute, you can see any invisible creature if you have line of sight to it. You can see yourself now. <laughs> 15 for the next minute, you regain five hit points at the start of each of your turns. <laughs> Yay! There we go. Okay, cool. I get to play this game now, too, because I also hit zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And we'll have crap, to, like, we'll crap, have to describe. Death saves are, like, straight rolls, right? There's no uh, plus. Yeah. It's been so long since I've had to do those. All yeah. right. Okay, I'm going to click the button. I don't want to roll this dice. 16. Okay. Yes. Good, good, good. 11. There okay. we go. 14. I'm fine. <laughs> Is oh it my gosh. turn? <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you down too? Yes. Oh. Did everyone ah! go down but Rosh? <laughs> All right. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Stress. Okay. Wait. Uh, I, we ha- uh, okay. Let's keep. I guess we can keep going. I, would, could, I was going to say, like, there is a possibility, I guess, that each of you could go to the same plane, and that might That's make true. a difference. Do you want us to resolve <sighs> that before you roll these, Gwen? Or just, or you just want to roll with it? Yes. I just want to roll with it. All right, Everybody we'll else with rolled right. with it. I'm not a coward. <laughs> uh, that's a 19. Stress, stress, stress. All right, good, good, okay. good. <laughs> that's a 16. Okay. okay. That's a one. Oh dear. <laughs> so you got two and two. <laughs> yep. Oh no. Oh no. Not like this. Boom, boom. Bum, 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 no, absolutely bum, bum. like this. <laughs> does this not make sense? It kind of does. It's a three. <gasps> okay, so this is good. This is good, though, because I won't explain why. Because I don't know yet, but it is. It's so good. Uh, okay. I think, what do you think about taking a quick break right here? <laughs> While I look up a bunch of stuff. That sounds great. Yeah. That sounds okay, good. Okay, we'll do oh, that. Dear. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, How does it feel, Val? Oh, I love this so much. Uh, Death well, means nothing to me. My I'm a turn. god. <laughs> All right. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching. We're going to take a quick break while I frantically figure out uh, what the hell is going on. You killed me. Uh, and we will return. Or will we? Or Not all of us. <laughs> uh, oh. See you soon. <laughs> Well, hello. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Uh, before we went on break, uh, the, the, we just, things got went on a totally different direction. Um, after a calamitous explosion from the Void Dragon uh, that shredded the party with an explosion of like a bitter, extreme space cold void and, uh, and shattering meteorites that kind of pelted them with uh, 
rocks going by like bullets. Uh, they all got hit so hard they got knocked into different planes of existence. Uh, because I did not read that whole description before it happened. Uh, so we are I, also, uh, I, most importantly, uh, while two members or three members went unconscious, only uh, two were able to uh, get back up again um or one died uh i kind of want to find out where your body is first so if you would roll me a d100 uh 51 I, I don't know what this is, but let me look up a brief description because it's not in the DM handbook, I don't think. Um, How legit is this roll table? It's a... Uh, that's a great question. <laughs> it seems to be legit. It seems to be legit. Uh, this is... For, uh, you are not into the Outlands. Uh, description. There, okay, this is, I'm not gonna read this whole thing right now. Like this is, this under description it says, while there's no sun in the Outlands, the plane still has day and night cycles. I don't wanna read to find out what that means. Okay, the Outlands is the plane Thank between you. the Outer Planes, a plane of neutrality, but not the neutrality of nothingness. Instead, it incorporates a little of everything, keeping it all in a paradoxical balance, simultaneously concordant and in opposition. Broad region of varied terrain, open prairies, towering mountains, twisting shallow rivers, strongly resembling an ordinary world of the material plane. Fascinating. Okay, so uh, I think uh, at the foot of uh, a mountain that's peaks kind of disappear into the clouds, uh, Gwen's body materializes in a uh, kind of a loud pop and her body uh, tumbles down about 10 feet and splashes into uh, just a few inch deep uh, lake that seems to go on in every direction. Um, and her body, as it uh, kind of rolls for a bit, it stays still and does not move again. As, uh, uh, and there is, a kind of shriveling as uh, Gwen's symbiote companion cut off from its source of uh, sustenance, uh, shrivels, and also dies. Uh, so we'll come back to Gwen, but first uh, let's go to, we'll, we'll do Rosh next. Rosh, could you roll me a D100? And Alex, could you read descriptions for these planes? Because that site seems pretty Yes, this good. is from D&D Beyond. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. Awesome. All right. 87. Awesome. You are going to Acheron. Let's scroll up. through. There are a bunch of Acheron blades that are magic items. Right on. Okay, Acheron. Da, 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 da. Acheron Things has four deep. layers, each made of enormous iron cubes floating in an airy void. Sometimes the cubes collide. Echoes of past collisions linger throughout the plane, mingling with the sounds of armies colliding. That's the nature of Acheron, strife and war, as the spirits of fallen soldiers join in endless battle against orcs devoted to Grumsh, Goblinoids loyal to Maglubiet and legions assembled by other warmongering gods. <laughs> oh, dang. Evil Valhalla? Yeah! Evil Valhalla! Oh, no. <laughs> so that's where Raj gets to be. So, uh, a new god has entered the arena. <laughs> uh, Should I roll for Ned, too? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yes. 
That's good. Oh, well, Ned, he, our boy. He, uh, yeah, yeah, he failed all three, too. Yeah. It would be funny like, if he just ended up in the same spot. <laughs> He's fine. Uh, 57. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, well, uh, briefly, I'll, I'll, I'll explain that in a sec, but uh, briefly, you, you know, kind of... Uh, Go roll, roll me a kind of a, a deck save as to see if you can get like a nice superhero landing as you also kind of pop into to space. 18. Here it is. <laughs> uh, you uh, kind of do a tuck and roll and, and skid a little bit as um, you're on a, a massive, uh, I keep wanting to say spherical and that's really not a square, uh, a cube, this massive cube form. Uh, and that, um, as you're kind of taking in your surroundings, unsure of what just happened, uh, hearing like cries in the distance, a slam as your cube, uh, miles away hits another and it kind of shakes you off your feet for a second. Uh, and then you just see shapes that begin to kind of like swarm on the horizon and, uh, skittering towards you, um, uh, as you kind of prepare or do I don't know actually how you react <laughs> you can react to that however you want you can run or uh, uh, cry out for I, friends or I, I, yeah I think Rush is Gwen and that's probably the last thing that I see right. before we cut to something else yeah. just panic looking around for, yeah. for anyone so Ned that was 57 he goes yeah. to the plane of pandemonium oh god <laughs> Okay, give me a second to pull up the official description. I should also look this up. Oh, I don't should write these down is what I need to do. How am I doing? If, if my understanding of pandemonium is what it is, I think Ned's probably the safest in yeah. pandemonium. Okay. Pandemonium is a plane of madness, a great mass of rock riddled with tunnels carved by howling winds. It is cold, noisy, and dark with no natural light. Wind quickly extinguishes non-natural open flames such as torches and campfires. It also makes conversation possible only by yelling and even then only to a maximum distance of 10 feet. Creatures have disadvantage on any ability checks that relies on hearing. Most of the plane's inhabitants are creatures that were banished to the plane with no hope of escape, and many of them have been driven mad by the incessant winds or forced to take shelter in places where the winds die down until they sound like distant cries of torment. Um, <laughs> And people can know all that if they succeed on a DC 20 Arcana check. Cool. I think. Um, uh, can Ned pass that? We, we won't stick with Ned too long. I'm just curious. What is the check again? Uh, Arcana. Uh, no. But Ned okay. is immune to psychic damage, which I don't okay. know if that translates to anything. Can't cool. be frightened, charmed. Cool. Uh, I gotta take a rawhide away from Cooper because he's had enough. Uh, but uh, while that is happening, uh, let's do a quick roll and so I can walk a uh, step away to do that. Um, who's next? Uh, either go. Vincent or um, Champ. I guess for both of you, I you also will... got 87. Oh! Which is the exact same roll as <laughs> Rosh. Oh, so you guys are in the same spot. All right. Uh, <gasps> Rosh, you see Vincent for a moment unconscious. It seems to be unconscious. It, like, it bounces off the, the ground, I think, just a little bit behind you. You hear, like, a loud pop and, and, and like, hits the ground. Uh, and then you see the, just a... Uh, just like a, a swirl of magic being to, to emanate from uh, Vincent and then his eyes snap up uh, awake and uh, as his wounds begin to like knit themselves shut uh, you are both together you uh, go ahead and you can play this scene out and I'm gonna take this thing away from Cooper real quick I'll be right okay well I, I guess I mean you succeeded on the death saves, but I think Rosh would run over and try to heal Vincent immediately. Because right, I um, only have 50 HP currently. Okay. Um, uh, so, heals... Uh, I don't know if we have to roll or anything, since yeah. we're just playing this out narratively. Uh, once he's awake, uh, just... Vincent? Vincent, you're right. Oh, I, I'm alive. That's better than I was expecting. Good. You're gonna have to get up. There's an army coming. Well, shit, now I wish I'd saved some of my big spells. All right. Me too. 
just cr hoist Vincent up off his feet and, and they start running away from the army. <laughs> nice. You just hear. So, so the uh, goblins begin to uh, gather and, and marshal their forces, uh, running in your direction. Um, and also, uh, Rush, I think maybe you start beginning to feel the presence of a few other uh, beings, powerful beings in this plane that that uh, are beginning to turn their notice towards you. Uh, before we get to that. Let's finish up with Champa. Okay, 100. And you will be unconscious for a little bit. I will. That's 13. So, so hopefully it's not fire. <laughs> oh, okay. This sounds pleasant. Oh? Uh, does uh, Deep ethereal? Okay. Don't know. Could be, could be nice. Ethereal. Ethereal. Okay. To reach the deep ethereal, one needs a plane shift spell or arrive by means of a jade spell or magical portal. Visitors to the deep ethereal are engulfed by roiling mist. Scattered throughout the plane are curtains of vaporous color, and passing through a curtain leads a traveler to a region of the border ethereal connected to a specific inner plane, the material plane, the Feywild, or the Shadowfell. The oh. color of the curtain <laughs> indicates the plane whose border ethereal the curtain conceals, and there's a D8 table Damn. for that. Okay. Okay. Uh, so. A D8? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do there's I need also, a, Should I roll there? There's See, a little bit good. more as well. Oh, there's more? Okay, what's. Uh, what? Well, there's also the next section is Ether Cyclones, but maybe we'll work <laughs> about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Traveling through the deep ethereal to journey from one plane to another Cyclones. is unlike physical travel. Distance oh. is meaningless, so although travelers feel as if they can move by a simple act of will, it's impossible to measure speed and hard to track the passage of time. The trip between planes through the deep ethereal takes 1d10 times 10 hours, regardless of the origin and destination. Um, and combat creatures move at their normal speeds. Ether right. cyclones. Um, <laughs> an ether cyclone is a serpentine column that spins through the plane. The cyclone appears abruptly, distorting and uprooting the ethereal forms from its path and carrying the debris for leads. Travelers with a passive wisdom of 15 or more, or passive perception of 15 or more, receive 1d4 rounds of warning, a deep thumb in the ethereal matter. Travelers who can't reach a curtain or portal leading somewhere else suffer the cyclone's effects. Roll a d20 and consult the either cyclone table to determine the effect on all okay. creatures in the Okay, okay, this is starting to get we're starting okay. to get really so deep the into a rabbit twister. hole. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> what's your you passive a... perception or your passive? Uh, what My was the passive other one? perception is ten. <laughs> okay, and the other one <laughs> was it another wisdom thing? Because uh... oh, well, so it's the passive perception to try and get to it. like notice the, it, right? Yeah, the effects from the ether cyclone. You roll a d20. Okay. Um, and we just find which out. Will either okay. make your journey take longer, it blows you to the portal ethereal where you then roll on the curtain. Okay. Or if you All get right. a twenty, uh, you get yeeted into the astral plane. All right. Let's let's do this. Let's see if you get to meet um, Doctor uh, Stephen. And... <laughs> okay. Uh, so wait, what do I need a a, a 20? D D20. twenty? D twenty. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's get a die we haven't rolled yet today for fun. Okay, this one. D twenty. That's a sixteen. Don't know if that's good you or get bad. Blown to a border ethereal of a random plane, so now you roll a D eight. A D eight. Okay. Okay. There's D eight, right? <laughs> nope, that's a twelve. There's an eight. There it is. Okay. Diamonds. Seven. Seven is the plane of water through a green curtain. Okay. So, but I'm uh, at the border. I'm not like shoved into it, but I'm just like right there. Could yes. go into it, I guess. Yeah. I, I, That's I think, my understanding. So, of this. as you kind of come to, I think you come to uh, being uh, swept about by a, a cyclone. Uh, you, uh, as best as possible, you're not really sure where you are. Is you're just being thrown around by winds. It's very confusing. You just came to, uh, and. What's first? What seems like uh, forever, uh, you are being uh, thrown about by the winds until you are uh, thrown with a heap in front of a shimmering, misty green curtain. <sighs> I don't know if this is 
the afterlife, but it sort of certainly sucks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gonna, gonna take a minute. Um, just gonna let out some steam, and I'm gonna get a little bit of heat back. It's Dude, my that... second wind. Uh, but yes, yeah, so no. let... Uh, is it like like a you know old steam engine? You're like, a, like yeah, basically, and then it like seals up. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there's a little, there's a little. Okay, it's not gonna get me much, but it's better than whatever I have. Okay. Yeah. Does anyone I... have? Do you have any potions on you? I don't think that anyone has been stocking those. Let me look what I have. Nope. Okay. I have a net apparently. Cool. Which might be useful. <laughs> It, when I step through this veil, because Jeff's gonna do that. All right. Anyway, let's go on an adventure. I get, I get an amount back. Probably doesn't matter. Okay, so do you go into the water plane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't know it. Like doesn't know what this is. Probably sees another one of those tornadoes come and is like, let's find out. Yeah, just di diving away from the tornado. Um, and then. Immediately splooshing Splish. into water and begin to sink rapidly. Um, <laughs> although I believe Good thing I don't need to breathe. Is there an ocean? Is there a floor for the water plane, or is it just endless water? Huh? Well, I've never been to the water. plane of water. <laughs> let's see. It's new for let's Morgan. See. So the nature of water is to flow, not like the gust and wind or the leaping flame, but smoothly and steadily. Rhythm of the tide, nectar of life, bitter tears of morning. If, da, 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 da. Sounds nice. <laughs> okay, so there is a surface. So warm sun arcs across the sky of a plane of water, seeming to rise and set from within the water at the visible edge of the horizon. Several times a day, however, the sky clouds over and releases a deluge of rain. Okay, so yeah, it's just like endless ocean. Just so you just but there keep... is a bit, there is a floor. Well, it says sort it, of. There's at least a surface. I don't know about there's a floor. A surface. <laughs> but I don't think that there's a bottom. I just think you okay. just like kind of. It is an endless sea. Um, Unless, like, I mean, I'm, I'm, you can t you can swim. I think yeah, if you'd like yeah. to, but uh, otherwise, you're just gonna continue to sink. I'll keep reading. See if it specifically mentions a okay. bottom. I think as you are try to teach know. my little nanobots to make fins. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad idea. Or just like turn yourself into a little tugboat. <laughs> I'm no boat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, you uh, you see shapes in the water around you. I think like also as you're kind of like sinking down, there are currents that you kind of pass through that kind of spin you around a little bit. There are. Uh, just clouds of jellyfish and massive uh, leviathans moving through the uh, dark of the ocean and the waters. So, yeah, we're gonna leave you there for a little bit. And then we're gonna go to Gwyn as you pass through Uh, this side of mortality you come to a dark misty open space the the mists themselves are low they it's like they it barely comes up to your knees um but it goes in all directions, and above you see, uh, in the middle of the sky, in the in the starless sky, you do see uh, large moons. Watching long enough, they're close enough that you can actually see them rotating. Um, Your senses feel different here. Uh, you're, as you 
take steps. Like the sound doesn't feel quite right. Your sense of embod embodiment just feels different. And I think I think uh, you know that you are dead. Pretty pretty immediately. There's not much to do right here, but I will give you an opportunity to do something or to reflect or if you just want to talk it through. You don't have to monologue, but you can talk through like what you're thinking and what you would do. Um, I think even in death, uh, Gwen doesn't panic and it's hard to read her face um but i think she immediately is sort of back in tracking mode trying to figure out where she is and orient herself and looking out for uh yeah like where am i yeah i think it's just, it's uh, like an instinct even though she's dead yeah, uh, you begin to run through the mists, or I don't know if you run. You, do you want to run, or do you want to just like, what, what's your vibe as you make uh, it through? It's. Or I don't. More kind of. I don't think she. I don't think she runs. I think she moves quickly. Mm -hmm. um, it's more of like a, like a glide. She Moving doesn't like just like sprint off, up. but. Yeah. Yeah. No, like Naruto runs or anything. No, uh, <laughs> not quite. Okay, <laughs> cool. No, so yeah, you kind of she's Sasuke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So as you kind of like uh, make your way forward, like the the mists are kind of like curling uh, behind you, um, and uh, in this kind of uh, ever present hum of different frequencies that are uh, kind of swelling in the nothingness around you. Um, I think you hear almost like you don't you don't quite hear it. It's almost like an overtone. You like imagine that you hear like the howling of wolves um, and uh, your imagination begins to play tricks on you you begin to see shapes in the mist but like whenever you draw your attention to them they immediately dissipate um and uh but as you move forward uh the mists begin to clear just enough before you where you see an object on the ground before you a little scuffed stuffed animal. And then a voice from behind you. Well, I'd like to say it's good to see you again, but I thought we'd have more time. Wheels around. And you see Beatrix. Looking as she did. And, well... You scrubbed some of those memories, actually. <laughs> um, she looks like, in a, in a way, unlike you've ever seen her. Actually, <laughs> I forgot. I did. <laughs> you did erase this. Although, she, does dying bring these back? I'm going to say no for now. I want to say no. But I think I think you're aware of... Were you always aware of the emptiness before... Were you aware that you scrubbed something, or do you think you just like? Yeah, no, I think sh I think she's aware that she got rid of some 
memory because she didn't get rid of all of her memories of Beatrix. Okay. Just the happy ones. Yeah, just the happy so ones. So she probably looks familiar. She looks familiar, but um, not in a way that I, I think it, it comes from a part of your memory that you have blocked out completely. Um, which may not be significant to you. She's just wearing like her hair in a certain way that you've never seen it before. Um, something like that. What are you doing here? What we're all doing here, and what you now will do here. Wait. What? To be called on. Cryptic as always. <laughs> Sorry, it's a. Uh... <laughs> you have to understand this, the sisters did it to me when I got here, and I, I, this isn't really. I don't want to do to you what they did to me because it's very annoying. Um, and I'd love to tell you more than that, but that is almost all of what I know. I've searched these lands as far as I can go, and I run into someone here and there, but it doesn't seem to lead anywhere. Well, perhaps you didn't look hard enough. Hmm. I don't deserve your forgiveness, Gwen. We're going to be here for a while. Oh, we will do no such thing. I'm glad to see you. Though, I did not want to see you here. I'm sorry, Gwen. I don't care. I don't believe you. Don't you? No. I think you care. I think you've been nothing but a wretched thorn in my side. I don't disagree. I made mistakes. Absolutely. I did what I thought I had to do sometimes, and... Sometimes I just did what was easy. And I hurt people. People I cared about. Including you. You're a monster. Nothing more. That thing that burned within me the 
whole time I I did try to fight it. Not always. Then you're weak as well. Not as strong as you. You killing that thing, Korhal. It did free me. I felt it even here. Maybe, maybe you really don't care. Do you know what I lost to free you? Everything. You don't deserve the name Beatrix. And if there are other sisters here, you don't deserve to be here. Fine. you alone. And uh, with that, she turns and returns to mist. Zip, zap, zoop over to Acheron. Oh, good boy, good boy. Uh, as we see uh, Rosh and Vincent being absolutely swarmed by goblins as you're kind of like kicking them away from you. Uh, you know, uh, Vincent, I guess you can, you can fly, uh, you know, if you'd like to, and, and you can... Um, Rosh kinda, can fly too. Hold on. I think as they were running, I mean, yeah, if we're flying, that probably negates some of this, but what was that combo spell we had thought about with if I do animate objects and you set that, like, they kill them and they <laughs> blow uh, up spell? We could yeah. do that a whole bunch. Yeah, costly victory. I don't have that prepared right Ooh. now. I couldn't cast it anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but that might be key to our survival here until we can get uh, out. Yeah. Which, um,. Rush does have sort of a plan for um, in in doing this and uh, tells Vincent I can get us out of here if we can survive for long enough but um, I'm going to need a component to get us home uh, I don't suppose you have a diamond worth about 5,000 gold on you no uh, me um it, that's gonna it's gonna make this a lot harder I could try banishing you that might send you back home that would leave you here though alone wouldn't it it would but um it, it's a I plan say... if we can't come up with anything else we should find somewhere safe to lay low if there's anywhere around here that isn't swarming with goblins and um, find something. Uh, we'll figure out a plan once we're safe. Okay. 
Uh, all right, you zip, zip, zoop. Uh, like you both can fly. How can Rosh fly again? Uh, Rosh has an ability called Steps of Night um, <laughs> from the Twilight Domain. Uh, it, well, it does require that it is dim light or darkness here. Um, I think, so I don't know I what think the light. It's pretty dim. I think. Yeah. That's how it was, uh, sounded to me. And I can only do it for uh, a minute at a time for five minutes. Uh, so I can use that five times. Okay. So Rush well, is more limited. I think we can find some space. Let's let's get a couple survival checks where we try to find a good hiding spot. Oh dear, somewhere Gwen is going to be very disappointed in us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not proficient, but I do have a plus five. Uh, do 18? I want to? I'm just wondering if I should tie to chaos just for the lulls that that'll bring. I'm always a fan of that. Um, yeah, we're already in a hell dimension. Let's just throw more oil on it. That was I didn't worse. roll for like. Rosh healed Vincent. I wasn't rolling for healing or anything. I don't know how loose we're playing this with like RP stuff well, where you he, want us to have hit points. What would you heal like uh, fifty hit points from your five yeah. every round? Yep. So yeah. Ah. So, yeah. So but, uh, you're actually worse off than Vin is right now. Okay. And also Vincent, I guess, is technically invisible. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it would <laughs> whenever we're having these conversations, just like peeking the head yeah, yeah, out yeah, yeah. from the cloak. <laughs> I think, uh, like, what's your passive perception, Rush? It's like an in wild, Million. right? Uh, 26. Well, yeah, so I think that's part actually, of like how, like, even though you you saw like kind of a shimmer and like, you heard the thump, and that's how you're able to find Vincent. Yeah, but Vincent probably actually would be taking the cloak off at this point, just so it's like, okay. you know, we're sticking together. Okay. All right. As you, uh, yeah, you, you uh, Rosh with an 18. You f oh, you didn't finish your rolling, did you? For I mean, your survival I check? got a nine. Okay. All right. Uh, you um, kind of want to do Tides of Chaos. Like, we'll wait till we get to, you, you find a, uh, I, I'm just imagining all these, like, uh, kind of cubes, kind of, the cube thing is so strange. Um, it's imagine like a, a large like kind of Rubik's cube thing where everything like slides out and like things are rotating and uh, as one massive. I mean these things like not quite continent size, but they're like massive, like kind of rotating. I think you see like underneath there are is a place that you could possibly fly to and get in between, and then you would be locked in darkness for a while until it does another shift and then you can possibly find your way out. Um, but you uh, find your way, that you fly uh, just underneath the lip of one of these massive uh, uh, sliding shapes uh, and, the, and the goblins are unable to fight you. You just hear um, a muted war <laughs> everywhere. Do you have any idea where we are? thinking about it and I know it was oh gosh, it was only in pandemonium that it specifically mentioned they could roll arcana but could I try that here sure go for it we'll do the same DC okay um well that wouldn't be enough because I've needed 20 I could try and bend luck I'd still need max I don't suppose you have guidance <laughs> uh rush does rush has all the cleric cantrips <laughs> Okay, so can we just say that Rosh also gave guidance? Sure. You can do it. Thanks, you trust <laughs> your uh, faith means so much to me, and it was enough, as that brings it up to a 20 total. Yeah. So, yeah, I think, uh, and this is, this comes more from your, uh, uh, almost like your angelic ancestry of like passing through all of the planes. It's kind of like the, it's the, the attunement that you've had to like planar energies. I think you um, almost have like an ancestral memory yeah. that kind of gives you some information about it. And so, yeah, that's where we are. Basically eternal war dimension. But uh, that did, cause that kind of just came 
from like my angelic side and i know we don't have the you know the fancy gate from the ancient civilization but could maybe try and use my power to guide us through the planes uh, funny enough if um if we could if i can get the components for this then then i can create a gate similar to what we found used before and um that would be enough to bring us home and then i could attempt to call the others to us as well um, well i mean if that we seem to be secure enough here I could try me banishing you now and you can get back home and get what you need we could try that I have no idea where I'm going to end up if I'm just going to be flying around in space. Well, um, I mean, the banishment spell doesn't specifically say, you know, it says if you're native to a different plane of existence, you're banished there, returning to its home plane. But um, uh, let's, let's go ahead and do a wild magic surge. Maybe we'll get a diamond this way. <laughs> uh, let's see. Come on, give me a 90. Suddenly let's get some died. hits. Mm, okay, I've got. 40. There's a sudden change in weather. Uh, temperatures rise, snow, rain, etc. Chosen at random by your DM, lasting for 1d6 turns. Or you are immune to being intoxicated by alcohol for the next 5d6 <laughs> days. Challenge Incredible everyone useful. in the army <laughs> yeah. to a drinking contest. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to do the weather one just because I don't imagine there's normally weather in this dimension, in this plane. And so just having any kind of weather happen okay. is going to throw things for a loop. Uh, yeah, so I uh, I think you begin to hear, um, again, muted, just a, a crack of thunder as a uh, and a pattering of rain just on the other, like just above your heads as a big thunderstorm. <laughs> begins to roll over the, um, the massive, massive cubes. Um, okay, so here I'm going to I'm going to jump back to Champ as a little uh, kind of this little shape moves towards you. Uh, strange kind of stripes on its side, like orange and white and he goes hi uh, hello are you a fish sure am what are you doing here you know honestly i thought i died but i'm pretty sure there's not anyways uh i i was sort of brought here i don't know exactly Okay. Don't belong here, obviously. I don't have fins yet. Do you want to learn? <laughs> Just left fin out. Something fin. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> you're not gonna. You're not gonna get the 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 just keeps swing. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah right I, for, <laughs> I couldn't remember it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, so I think I don't know because we talked about like these nanobots being sort of like flexible a little bit that they could like, sure. make the arms and stuff. So maybe let's, they can... let's do a let's do a charisma check. Oh well, okay. <laughs> uh, and because these are part of your part yeah. of you at this point, the, the check is going to be low. We're just going to say okay. you see a ten. All right. Uh, let's do a charisma check to impart your will upon your nanobots. My bots. Your nano booties. 18. Yeah. <laughs> you got them. What'd I say? <laughs> What'd I say? <laughs> so, I guess tries to make some fins like that fish. It, okay, I'm assuming fish because you said fins, but. Oh, yeah. And stripes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. For it's just sure. like a regular fish. It's not like some weird deep water plane fish that's gonna try to eat me <laughs> no it's it's just it's just uh nemo basically hang on can you guys hear me 
I can now. I, I've heard, okay. heard, heard it all the time, actually. But Okay, sorry, my audio just went out for a second. Oh, it's weird. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, it's basically just Nemo. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is my little squish. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's like, oh! No! <laughs> okay, no, I'm not going to squish. <laughs> Gently. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to use my bots to make... Uh, are there little propellers? A little propellers, something, some sort of like weird sort of fit. And they can all come together and go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, maybe like, like my hands like a little like Iron Man sort of thing. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, you haven't perchance seen anyone sort of like me around here. Like you sure have. Well, no, no. Well, I guess not like me. Not made out of metal. No. Like me. To be honest, I'm kind of lost myself. Well, you can stick with me, little guy. I don't know where I'm going, but. Can you help me find my dad? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw the second movie, so I'm not going to give any references if you slip them in there. <laughs> well, they seen the first one. <laughs> uh, sure, I've. We'll look for my friends, or maybe just anybody else who can tell me where we're at. All right, good, cause I'm real, real scared. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I've temporarily adopted a fish child. <laughs> All right, cool. So give me a, a survival check. <laughs> survival? Okay, I've never pulled this one. Guess what? It's flat. That's a nine. All right, but cool. Uh, I'm all yeah, out. so basically you are Dory trying to help out uh, Nemo <laughs> find his dad. Uh, all right, so uh, sure. I, here here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to Gwyn one more time, but after that, I'm probably not gonna actually play out scene by scene. I think we're just going to narratively talk this through and, okay. and just because uh, it is a little too lopsided party wise so we'll, we'll just kind of speed up the rest of this uh like narratively anyway uh so uh gwen as you make your way through the mists um uh actually you you give me you give me something what do you see in the mists uh i think since Beatrix mentioned the sisters. Um, she, that's probably who she thinks she sees, whether or mm -hmm. not she actually does. Because once you're in like mist and fog long enough, it starts to look like there are things in there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think like... she starts to see like fo forms that that look familiar yeah. to her. Several, several of your sisters and Olaf. Are... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> like, sisters are like kind of materialize in the, the mist and uh, moving forward out of uh, uh, before them all. Um, I forgot her name. It's not Raslin. I, I have this notes in the other game. <laughs> I didn't. Who was the head one? Oh, Anastasia. Was that what it was? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Yes, then then that of the Phantom that. Blade. That's oh, the one yeah. I remember. Yeah, that was hers. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Whoops. Um. So, uh, yeah, what is what does she look like? I don't know if you ever. Sure. I don't uh, think she yeah. ever actually showed up. Yeah, not alive. No, that's for sure. Um, but this is her second cameo is dead. <laughs> She's like recurring ca ca character credits. All right. Um, and she approaches you. Uh, Gwendolyn. Welcome. I'd say it's good to see you. Right. 
this is I've been doing this for a little while now but I still haven't quite figured out my onboarding messaging that I use for this but how are you? Other than dead. Right. Other than dead. Alright, I suppose. I at least went out the way I'd like. Good. Good. Not all of us get that. You'd be proud. I've always been proud. You should know that. Doesn't mean I won't give you a good slap when you're being indignant, but yes, I've always been proud. What are you all I'm doing here? When Korhal died, I think something changed. This is n not where we were before. I, our souls were bound to the beast. And when we died, we were turn to him in some way but when you slew him we found ourselves here these outlets I'm not sure exactly why we're here but well, I'm not sure there's a purpose for us being here, is what I'm saying. I feel as if the universe is not quite sure what to do with us yet. So we have just gathered the sisters here and also those slain by the Phantom Blade. Do you still have it? Yes. Oh, we're not. Good. I think that may be of some hope, sort of anchor into the material. What do you mean? You know that the Phantom Blade sends the souls of its victims Somewhere. within the blade, but I I think where we are right now is where the blade sends. The blade is connected to this place. And there was a time when life and death seemed quite simple to me, where life begins and life ends, and that was that. But having died, I 
and having witnessed what you have witnessed, life and death can be quite interchangeable. There must be a way back. I don't believe in one-way doors anymore. What about those that you were traveling with? Were they with you when you fell? Yes. Good. They seem quite capable. If they survived. If they survived. If they did not, then we just must hope that someone worthy picks up the blade. Yes. It may take some time, Gwen. We may need to be patient. Always something I was rather good at. <laughs> there is not much here that you can do to prepare your body. But your soul, your mind, your heart, if there's anything there that you haven't had time to prepare, I suggest getting started on that now and using this time. All right. Our work never ends, Gwen. I thought it might, but it does not. Well, a sense of purpose never hurt anyone. That's clearly true. It is good to see you, sister. You as well. If I or any of the other sisters may be of help. Your heart will draw us closer. This place does not seem to be that reliant on physical our bodies are not really here, so walking is really just a way to <laughs> engage your mind. It's not actually going to get you anywhere. Just so you know. Is there anything else that you need? Not yet. I will answer your call. And she fades into darkness. The moon is shining brightly overhead. Um, and now we will start 
fast tracking some adventures. Um, Rosh and Vincent, uh, let, let's just let's just. Uh, I mean, you can like go through your sheets and your inventory if you want, uh, but we can also just uh, solve this. Like how, how? Like how? How do you solve this problem? Uh, so I I did check my inventory and I had a diamond that would work, but I also think that's less fun. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm also good with just Rosh and Vincent spend like just go like fighting armies for a while until that's they right. find a uh i think you fight one of the gods who has like you know diamond encrusted weapons and stuff like that or like like a big one that's one in its head that's like powering it as it's uh you know yeah i like the idea that i think for uh and these are all in like pocket dimensions so time is you know i i've never seen um doctor who but is it wibbly wobbly or something yeah. like that wibbly it is wobbly, wobbly 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 wobbly. Wobbly timey-wimey that's the one i was looking for yeah so it's timey-wimey in these places uh i think oh have anybody seen magicians some of it yeah so okay so you know i forget that quentin and elliot like are like live like an entire lifetime together yes yes I know you're did you about. see that yeah mm -hmm. what <laughs> What if it's like? What if this whole like epic of like uh, <laughs> Rosh and Vincent spending an entire life together until you finally get the 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 diamond you need, um, and then you know once you exit this plane, you'll be you're like old people, completely uh, uh, aged people, but it like resets after like you get back. <laughs> <It's something laughs> like that. And finally bring back Gwen and his oops sorry Rosh and I are a thing now <laughs> right I, I like that I mean I don't know because I don't know about Vince but like I mean I imagine that over time like Rosh's like powers and stuff continue to manifest and like yeah. glow closer to their divinity and like yeah. all that stuff and um but yeah, I like the epic, like finally tracking down, like after years and years, one of the, one of the gods and slaying them. Yeah, uh, powerful sorcerer and the, and uh, cleric, and then uh, taking the diamond and yeah. and escaping. Uh, Alex, what it was Grumsh and who else? Um, and Mag Magubliet. Yeah. So the goblin <laughs> one and the orc one. Yes. Is there any other one? and legions assembled by other warmongering gods. Okay, we'll just stick with those two. Which one do you kill? <sighs> what if we grow so powerful that we have to take on both? Like mm -hmm. they team up to come after us. All right, so yeah. here's a, here's why I'm saying it. <laughs> um, but I don't want to give it away, but yeah, yeah I'll, I'll give it away. Whoever you kill, you become the god of either orcs or goblins. <laughs> <laughs> We should probably just roll for it then. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, one one orcs, two goblins. Sure. Go for it. I've seen that video. It's dark. <laughs> <laughs> Are you rolling it, or do you need to? I can. Um... Okay. Sorry, I I just usually <laughs> assume that you're that Alex jumps on rolling. Right. Yeah. All right. All right. So uh, Groomsh. Yep. So Groomsh is slain. Uh, let me see if there's any cool um, Groomsh magic items. Let's see if we get anything cool from that. Um, I'll, I'll look that up. Well, so, but yeah, do you, you become the uh, uh, I'll say the twin gods of the uh, of the orcs. So that's another asset you can add to your final battle. Um, so Grumpsh, one. I, I'm gonna look this up. Okay, cool. So uh, the staff of Acheron. <laughs> what is? I'll look this up. Uh, I don't know if this is a real thing. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, you can have this. I mean, there were like a bajillion Acheron blades. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I'll let you decide. You, you, you pick, pick something from that, like, at this point, 
bounces out the window, so I don't care. As long as it's like it, it's not redained on ridiculous. Uh, okay, so uh, Grumptious dead. You are now the twin gods of the orcs, uh, and we can talk about what that means later. Uh, Just the most casual apotheosis happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Um, uh, uh, Champ, you go on an epic adventure <laughs> where you guide a small fish back to their fish papa. Aww. Uh, uh, and along the way, I think, what do you gain? You gain something super cool. Uh, you... Hmm. I don't know what it is yet, though. That's what do you think? What, 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 like, let's, let's, let's pitch it to the crowd. Um, there are krakens and leviathans in the plain oh. of water. There are also, like, actual islands, uh, that are, you know, fiercely fought over. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was also okay. thinking, like, there's the, um, the water elemental, like, gin, um, that, uh, uh, uh maybe, like, Turns out that the thing that you were helping was actually was like, actually a, a genie, guy? and it was ah. like a test. And, yeah, and uh, I think that's what like like zips you back. Yeah, it's a a genie. Ooh, ah, uh, it's all coming together. Uh, okay, so let me see. Do they give wishes? Does do gins give wishes? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh dang! All right, I don't know well, if they all do mechanically or just, but I'm pretty sure. All right, so uh. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. They're gonna let you go home, and they're gonna give uh, Champ. They're gonna give you one wish. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, I think on this one. The heck, and wish. What is Champ? On? Yeah, they can do that. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Is this like a wish you can hold on to and use at any time, or uh, or is this one that they have to use before yeah. before they go? Yeah. What's my what's my what's my time reference? This might help me <laughs> decide. Uh, actually, I whatever. kind of I kind of like I kind of like uh, yeah. Let's hold on to it. You get a wish okay. in the final encounter, or if you want to use it earlier, you can. Okay. Uh, Okay, now, so like saving it for later means that like there might it might not. Well, I'm not gonna be like Fausty and like try to like rip you off or anything, but it might not like have quite the e efficacy that you want it to have. But yeah, basically, you can just make something happen. Take an action next. You can use your action to just like do something wild. Okay. Okay. <laughs> cool. All right. All right, Open but you get zipped back to the material world, uh, prime material, where, uh, let's see, would they know? Well, they'll, they'll ask you where you want to be. Okay. Where do you want to uh, go? Probably uh, back to our ship, because I don't know where the rest of, what happened to everybody else. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll, probably also roll for some things to see like when when these things happen okay uh so you can uh, roll me a d100 and i'll have the other two okay. roll me a d100 okay. and then and then uh and then we're gonna shift to the search for gwen the search for gwen okay uh 83 that's what i rolled 62 on the okay um, then I'm gonna say uh, the two of you were gone for 62 days, um, and then for you're able to, I mean, like in 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 this timeline, basically, okay. uh, and the ship has been collected and kind of not impounded, but just you know put like dry dock, uh, and the two of you return to it, and then I full you know 20 something days later, I forget you said 87 or something like that. 83, yeah. 83 yeah so like 21 days three weeks later um champ just materializes in the vessel um so uh but uh right as you get so so what is your game plan in getting gwen and finding out where gwen is um 
So I was thinking that once once Vincent and Rush gate back to it um, and, and reclaim the ship, uh, Rush probably starts to do, like, I don't know if Vincent has anything, but uh, Rush has, like, some spells, like commune and stuff, can start asking some questions and find out where people are. And Vincent would basically just go over again what we did to res you the first time and be like, well, I mean, you you were part god. I don't know if this is going to work for Gwen, but... Uh... Uh, what? Gwen has a god's heart. <laughs> she, she stole it. <laughs> How much money do we have again? We practically have infinity so money. Um, um, now this is kind of flavor because I just realized that the champ does have wish and, and can really make yeah. this really simple. Uh, oh. But we we don't have to use the wish if you can think of another Rush way has, to do it. Uh, well, Russia's true resurrection, mm -hmm. uh, which is twenty five thousand gold pieces worth of diamonds, but just has to speak. If Rush is able to confirm that Gwen has died. Mm -hmm. um, yes. You... Then uh, it says, "Yeah, spell can provide a new body if the original longer exists." Uh, in which case, you must speak. Th so you just have to speak the name of the creature, and and they will return to life within ten feet of you. Okay, I will. I I. <laughs> this is okay. We can do it this way. Actually, I'll just let you do it the way you want to do it, and then I'll. Say no. Well, I was thinking. I mean, we we can either do something like that, or if we're not convinced, if we can't confirm that she's gone, or there's some other something blocking the ability to bring her no, back. No, you can you can do that. I, I I'll, let me see. I was also envisioning like taking the Arcturus across the plains, searching for her for as long the, like also, uh, over a period of time. Here's and the downside. Her body. Here's the downside of the true resurrection. Mm -hmm. Gwen loses all her shit. Okay. Because you're. Or I mean, she doesn't it, have her body anymore. She doesn't so have her body. Like, it's like so she, her you've created a new stuff. body. All her stuff oh. is still in the outlands. Okay. I mean, her stuff isn't gone forever. It's just like there and not where she is. Well, maybe it's more fun if we go the other route and take the time to, like. I mean, because. Rosh can if Rosh can continue to open up gates to other planes. I mean, we just start flying through all the planes of existence with one day at a time. Yeah, uh, searching for her yeah. uh, using our magic. And now we're going to Venture Zone. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, perfect. Um, so, okay, so uh, I think yeah, the three of you. I guess yeah, we can say that you figure out how to like you know. It, you know, combine your magics with the uh, the Arcturus's like uh, jump drive, basically, and are able to like move the ship in between planes, and you just like pop through different planes. Over, let's roll. Um, mm, I want all three of you to roll a D100, and the sum of this will be how many days it takes for you to find Gwen. Okay. Thirteen. Hopefully right. the world doesn't end. Uh, Sixty. Nineteen. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> I rolled so high. <laughs> yeah. uh, so just a little less than a hundred days it takes. Yeah, uh, and and I I forgot about this too because Raj also has scry. Uh, so like I, I think that can be Scrabby fucked up by like the planes <laughs> and stuff, but maybe like uses that oh, to try to get some. Um, some guess as to where she might be yeah as well i think i think like yeah i think that will that kind of like it explains itself in like why your d100 rolls are 13 and 19 to me like uh because even if you like you find the plane it's still an entire plane of existence to to search um but anyway long like uh you know almost a hundred we'll just say a hundred days later 
as uh, it, in, for Vincent and Arash, uh, almost like an eternity plus 100 days later. And uh, sort of similar for Champ, although I think for you, it, it feels like closer to a year for you, Champ. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you, um, and also all of the, the three of you have also gained enough XP to get to level 20, which we'll figure out later. But, uh, uh, and so has Quinn, who just by, just by heart, heart working. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. What is actually? Well, just real quick. Uh, what what will Gwen have been doing for um, b basically eternity? Like, I mean, it, it will feel like no time has passed, and also that a lot of times passed. It's you know, kind of just the outside of man workout <laughs> all the time. Okay. <laughs> uh, she's doing a lot of a lot of meditating and a lot of coming to terms with being dead uh and then she's yeah i think it's mostly meditating and trying to figure out a way to like reach because anastasia mentioned the sword being like an anchor so i think she's trying to like get back to it somehow like if she just like focuses hard enough she thinks maybe she can get back to it i think you do like you feel like uh you sense it and you over time, um, or over not time, I guess you, uh, that's obnoxious. Uh, you, you kind of sense like the, the sword and like pull yourself closer and closer to it. And then, uh, eventually you, uh, are able to almost feel like you can look through it and see once again, those mountains that are uh, shrouded in clouds and uh, you're, and the, the light itself is kind of like rippling as you know it's, it's as if you're looking through the blade and the blade is still like underwater uh, and uh, you don't see your full body you, you see like a, a gloved hand and so no decomposition that we're seeing here or anything um but uh, as you're uh, watching the, the 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 image begins to get kind of distorted, as something moves towards it, kind of putting ripples in the water, and uh, as uh, I don't think you can really see well enough, but you can almost feel that your friends are nearby as the three of you find Gwen's body which uh, though it has been in some in, in the material world a hundred days I think it, it, it's just like completely perfectly preserved here it's like no time has passed it's like she just uh, just died uh, I think as soon as like Rosh finds her, like the emotion of like the decades away from her and and like seeing her still like perfectly preserved and stuff, just like I, I think just breaks down. Um like like taking her cradling her body and, and just like just goes like catatonic for a while. Also thinking, Champ, if you're cool with this, like, like, is there like coral, like, kind of part of your look now? <laughs> you don't uh, have to accept that. <laughs> well, I did. I did think it'd be kind of cool if, like, some of my, because I do gain and could like change out a couple of spells with like the level twenty. So maybe some of the spells change to more like watery stuff. And yeah, there's a little bit more like water elements. <laughs> like. It, 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 could, it, it doesn't have to, but I just I thought it'd be. I love. Or do, would you like a like a little? Uh, no, no, no. That was a genie. Never mind. I, th I was gonna say like fishbowl, uh, for no reason. Anyway, continue. I'm sorry. Okay. This is like a this is an important scene. I'm talking about fishbowls. Sorry. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, as soon as they they like come out of it and they've had a moment, just looks mm -hmm. back to the other says, "I can bring her back." That's what we came here to do. I, I can bring her back. Um, 
and just like laser on the ground um i i don't know if like the time stuff you're playing with here if if is it still gonna take is it still like she's been dead for a hundred plus days like we're going with i mean if you, 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 you can do i mean you can do revive but you don't have to spend that diamond if or or not the diamond that was for getting out sorry yeah you don't it's have to spend 300 that it's like the escalation is like 300 gold pieces 500 gold pieces or twenty five thousand gold pieces yeah holy I, crap I don't it, it it honestly doesn't make a whole lot of difference so I like I would say you can just do revivify or whatever or you can or try it, it and then yeah I think Rosh should just go with Ray's dead it's like 500 gold it's nothing Rosh can do that it's okay. good because doesn't know but wants yeah. to try this and see because given the state of the body um tries this and if it doesn't work we'll go with something more powerful but okay. um, well let's do that let's let's do um Let's say, I mean, this is so. It, it make, I guess it makes a little bit of difference, but not much. Uh, I, let's do like a uh, arcan or your full spell casting roll at disadvantage with the uh, raised dead, and then we can lose the disadvantage as we. Okay. But, and we're just uh, gonna do a DC fifteen. Seventeen, fourteen. So the uh, fourteen on the die. So over so, yeah, fifteen. Yep. Yep. So raised dead works. You bring back uh, win. I think that does hammer your stats a little bit temporarily. But so that for character, you'll be a little. You won't feel great. But um, yeah. I I like this image of like wherever um, Gwen is or like where her soul is currently trapped, like. I don't know what the lighting, like what the sky looked like or anything there, but it just like goes dark and there's this like shifting purple like aura that covers everything. And then Rosh's uh, like arm just kind of like smashing through reality uh, and like take like reaching out for her hand um, to try to pull her back to her body. Are you waiting for me to sign off on that? Like, yep. Uh, or Gwen, if she just <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting nah. for Gwen. Uh, I was, yeah, Gwen. You oh yeah, it. no, she takes it. Pulls her back to reality. Gwen. You're alive. So are you. Now. I guess we're even. Are you alright? Friend. I'm sorry. I I can try. Rosh will try unless she says otherwise. Is there some sort of like manifestation? Like, what does friend's body look like? Uh, looks like, uh, just, you know how, um, like when you go canoeing, like how, like, uh, like t-shirts will like kind of go up against roots and like get all tangled up and just be like in there, like ratted. They, it just, it's like a goopy fabric, like wrapped around, like, uh, yeah, it, it looks like just rot almost, but it's like, you know. Uh, yeah, Rush will, will immediately try to do the same thing and uh, and bring friend back if possible. Right. Go for it. Do uh, you want me to roll again? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, you said that's my my spell casting like ability modifier or just like my wisdom? 
Uh, for the ability, yeah. Or the proficiency okay. bonus, yeah. So that's uh, plus 11. Uh, yeah, that's... Plus uh, 11. <laughs> that's an 18. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you got it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and friend begins to ride back and life and returns to Gwen and, and Gwen you just feel um, like uh, not physically well actually a little physically almost like tightens around you a little bit like 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 a hug it's like I missed you I'm so sorry I missed you. I missed you too. And then again, tightens around you. And then uh, slowly kind of returns to the form in which you, you know, normally had it. Uh, also, Gwen, from your time in the the spirit realm you have you have gained a new connection with your phantom blade and you can now cast spirit guardians from it and call forth all your sisters so can i ask for one fl uh, one thing about friend yeah. uh it, it, i was imagining friend is like uh, kind of like venom, like just yeah. black, like yeah. amorphous, like blah. With with I guess Savannah and, and Ryan's permission, can I say that like maybe like there are little flecks of like bluish purple starlight that are kind of like present uh, across friend now that Raj's like divine magic brought them back. Yeah, yeah. Also a little bit of orc green. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Just some some <laughs> tusks, <laughs> like or some like horns <laughs> out of it now. Aww. Do you want horns, Gwen? God, <laughs> hell yeah. To... Okay, yeah. <laughs> so there are now horns as well. Um, yeah, it, it, you can go full, full venom with this if you want, and like have like mouth and teeth and stuff, and <laughs> bite people <laughs> if you want. But for now, yeah. Yes. Okay. There we go. We'll give you a I bite didn't of see, I didn't see that <laughs> happening. Maybe it seems a little different. That is maybe a slight bit of um, bleed over. Vincent and I are technically gods now. Um, it's difficult Wait, to explain. Weren't you or already? A god together? A god together. Well, I was so I'm more... Hmm. I haven't come up with a thing of that's changed Vincent yet. Uh, Vincent, how has your, how would you like to imagine how your form may have changed? Because like, is there, a, have this you adopted? This will be interesting with the, you know, reversion or, back to how we were. Or we, we, we can also go in the realm of like, your, the image of the two of you can also have like influence what orcs are like. It doesn't have to be you take on orc characters. Actually, they can take on your characters. Orcs have wings now. <laughs> I mean, orcs, orcs can have are wings now, now on fire and have wings. <laughs> okay, burning, burning winged orcs. We good with that? <laughs> yeah, I'm good with uh, that. Okay. I was gonna say I think because we talked a little bit how like Rosh became more godlike over the course of the time. I think, mm -hmm. uh, I think Vincent's wings never really stopped growing and like one on one hand yes a more impressive wingspan but also like fully becoming more angelic and cool uh source of divinity in his own right cool again that some at least some of that reverted when we returned to our bodies right before we got nuked by the uh void dragon but i think a i a little bit i think but uh not i think hmm yeah uh we can <laughs> we can flavor it however you like but yeah yeah i i like that idea like more angel uh wings also so we got flaming winged orcs I what if you have like down. more wings now like you have six wings Ooh, instead of yes 
Yes, great, <laughs> great idea. Biblical angel. <laughs> or like seraph, seraph yeah. with a thousand eyes. <laughs> yeah. and... Oh, oh dear. I just realized those like four cubes. That's like that's like some one of the weird angels. There's like a super weird angel that I feel is like an eyeball with like within like a sphere. I don't know. It, it anyway. Uh, okay. And also, I'm gonna say that orcs also um, have tapped into like or are drawing from you from as from if you know if you grant it to them like a bit of wild magic. Oh. Okay. Wild so angel chaotic, is. fiery <laughs> orcs. All right. Yeah. And also, it's like, are, are they with you on this journey? Have you already connected with them, or are they, or are they just? Oh, we're we're recruiting anyone who to the, to our army now. I think okay. anyone who wants to join. It's not a requirement. I think. I mean, unless Vincent says otherwise, because I guess this is a we got to decide. Like, we're really chill gods about this. For like, if you part, wanna chill god. <laughs> but I god, also but I'm imagine. Chill about it. You know, there's probably just based on my understanding of Grumsh, there was a lot of like, wait, so we don't have to do this, but but also fighting's pretty awesome. And so I think the orcs, this almost becomes a crusade for them to gear up to take on the cool. <laughs> ancient eldritch gods that are invading. Yeah. We well we'd like channel the the like any sort of the hostility that came from Grumsh, like anyone who's like really into to fighting and stuff is like peacekeeping force uh mm -hmm. and and fighting the wrongs of of the galaxy of the universe Whew. we got a whole gang of anti-heroes now <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> um i think like the, for the, the for the for a lot of the orcs most of them are like really stubby wings but i think like there are some that I, like actually can fly and stuff and like in and i think and also there are like orcs that have like maybe it looks like their eyes are burning a little bit like there's like a fire in their eyes but for the ones that maybe are a little bit more faithful they can actually like uh immolate essentially uh and you know harmlessly not like <laughs> not the other kind uh and or, or they, they can like set their blades on fire stuff like that yeah um yeah. and cool uh so and, and gwen you can cast spirit gardens, which will bring all your sisters, and you can leave Beatrix behind if you want, but she will also fight alongside you if you wish her to. Uh, that's And let's see, anything else that you would like from your spirit journey that I didn't think of? When I say your spirit journey, do you, what else do you want from being dead? <laughs> um, I think that's good. Okay, cool. Yeah. Because Champ got wish. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I want to make sure. <laughs> like Champ got wish, and Vincent and uh, Rosh are gods. So I want to make sure this is fair because you just got yeah. a third level spell that you can cast at higher levels. But as you got a third level spell, so I don't know that I'm fully like things are fully even now. We can actually make let's make the Phantom bl Blade ba more badasser. How's that sound? Okay. Yeah. That's oh. the most badass. <laughs> All right. Um, let's look at that real quick, because like you are more tuned, you're um, heavily attuned with this blade now. Uh, let me look at the description for it. Um, okay, cool. Uh, let's just go ham. Let's make let's let's double the damage dice. Okay. Yeah, 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 we'll just we'll and we'll just. Is it? It's a plus three already, so we'll leave it there. But we'll make it double damage dice. Oh, okay. there's one thing okay. Gwen needed was doing more damage. And I'm wielding yeah. it two-handed, so. So yeah, and and um, I I think I saw. Did you update the crit part too? Yes. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right, does that feel good? Yeah. All right. Uh, and also, friend, friend should have a new ability too. <laughs> Uh, you get ability. You get ability. <laughs> yeah. Friend can duplicate. We all get a friend. Uh, friend gang. Friend gang. Oh, <laughs> uh, gosh. Actually, I thought about something like that. Um, but no, I want to keep that specific to Gwen. Um, sorry, Gwen. I'm looking at your sheet. Oh, it's okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um, 
Oh, you, you were looking at friend over here. That's why you're over here. Yeah. Um, can boost your max X XP. We'll double that. So, so the, the 16 eight HP instead of 8. Okay. So you can add another 8. Um, and we will also... Uh, what is it now? You can boost your strength to 23. <laughs> Why not? Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Cool. And, and friend is on fire now. As a follower <laughs> of, uh, of Rush. And... Rush. I... Rush. Vosh. Vosh. Oh, Vosh. Vosh. Vish. 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 <laughs> the... The... <laughs> hmm. Um. Yeah. Yeah. What do they? Yeah. That is that what they call you, Vish, or they oh call my you? Gosh. <laughs> it's probably the best <laughs> combination we're gonna get. Um. And and we can. This is we probably won't be able to get into it at all. <laughs> but uh, like I also like I think like you don't necessarily have to be of an accord when you're like you're willing the orcs to do this or that i think like you represent like dual aspects of their divinity so like they can um make choices to follow one of your will or the other and then they will gain more traits of one or the other and i like uh, that because like vincent's chaotic right like you're, more you're, chaotic you're yeah. and and rosh is lawful so it's that balance of like law and chaos and stuff yeah. like that and but but yeah they're they're tied together in the same direction but like maybe handling things differently and they will exhibit different traits based on how um what how they align with that and how f like zealous they are um so uh yeah as they follow more closely to vincent they also take on whatever accent he currently has <laughs> exactly. i do think in the decades that they were in akron with all of moa magic that's that true happen, you probably accent see... cycled a bunch and it just happened to wind up back on southern when we got <laughs> plane. that's funny i like that uh, and then uh also <laughs> i i guess yeah, you you also can both gain uh, both uh, goblin and orc as languages. Again, that won't be super relevant, but you have them. Um, and what else? I think that's it. I think that's everything. <laughs> I'm just trying to think if there are any mechanical benefits to now having six wings. Goodness. Uh, <laughs> we can increase your fly speed um, by 50%. Okay, so I now fly faster than I walk, which kind of makes sense. Six wings and <laughs> over two legs. Yeah. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I just, sorry. Uh, for those watching, uh, Gwen just did a practice swing with her phantom blade and it hit so it hard. Destroyed the universe. <laughs> um. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Wow. Numbers. Unfortunately, Ned is still lost. <laughs> I just realized. Which, oh, uh, <laughs> and it's nine fifty nine, or you know, it's fifty nine. Okay. <laughs> One minute left. Effective gate Ned? spell is you just have to open it up, say the name of a creature, and it comes through it. So All right, fantastic. That's how... Yoink. So we'll, we'll do that. <laughs> what has Ned gained from pandemonium? Wait, that's where Ned went. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Break. All right, this is a group oh, a group effort. Been in pandemonium, pandemonium for a long time. I don't. Oh, I, God. I have he to relook. He gets in like. a split personality. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Um, break. What if he's like the? What if we just say he's got some crazy weapon now? It's like the spine of a dead god or something like that. that he's like <laughs> just beat you to death. With. <laughs> Right. It functions uh, like a, he's had a but it functions like a whip. Like, like a, yeah. yeah, like some, some like, like spine big whip. Spike at the end. Yeah. 
and uh, and he's have like a color cha- like I mean I imagine like some aesthetic changes some like showing yes. some like chaotic like like growths and stuff coming off the metal is all like warped and twisted and yeah uh, I want see. personality to be like exactly the same though yeah it's just the same <laughs> <show. That's laughs> <me either. laughs> but just Dang. like looks so much scarier now hi everyone <laughs> <laughs> oh dear that was fun it's good to see you again. I just realized I don't have a thing on. Oh. That was so much fun. <laughs> well, glad to see you uh, seem to weather that pretty well. Damn, Dad, you look good. Is that a spine? So it is. <laughs> So much echo. Uh, but I like the more echo, though. Yes. <laughs> that it... <laughs> She's got more echoey. <laughs> more echo. Yep. <laughs> All right. Reverb. So uh, let's look at let's look at Ned's sheet real quick. We'll make this change, and then we'll we'll call it a sesh. How's that? Oh okay. dear. Um. So we've got the blade, the ten. Um, so this is a spine of a dead god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was thinking maybe some, it has some, some sort of like restraining or like grappling effect. Like, when Ooh, it hits things. okay, cool. And yeah. Maybe like some necrotic damage or something. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I'll, I'll add something. So let's do, um, what's this? Let's do DC 17, maybe. Or what's his other DCs? DC 19. We'll do maybe DC 19. Um, grapple check, uh, on hit, hit, and then we're, I'm going to add, uh, plus two D six necrotic. All right, cool. And we'll make this, um, we'll call it spine whip. Is that where we're going with? <laughs> yeah. Right. Cool. I'm trying to figure out how close we can get it to Spinal Tap, or if we just call it Spinal oh. Tap. <laughs> <laughs> I like. I right, will go it. Spinal Tap. Let's go for it. Um, Spinal Tap. Let's go. Okay. Cool. All right. So I think you all are uh, disgusting. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, disgusting. <laughs> Um, did I? Yeah, oh, that was just a really bad roll. Um, but yeah. All right, cool. So, uh, next time we will return, uh, and, uh, take all of this newfound power. You have all reached level 20, by the way. Uh, so you can do that at any point between now and then. And, uh, you... Uh, we can uh, fight the old ones. There we go. So uh, anyway, thank you all so much for hanging out with us tonight. We will be back in two weeks. Uh, but tomorrow, we'll be here at 8 p.m. Eastern time to uh, continue our Neon Souls campaign. So at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. And so we're really excited to see you there. But until then, good game and good night, Internet.